So, Coach, one of the first things Ryan Day does taking over for you is he changed the defensive staff and to some extent the scheme. We're going to take a look at it here. And so far in conference play, Ohio State ranks number one in two of the most important stats, scoring in total, and they're number three in rushing, the third most important defensive stat. So let's take a look at the, the new revamped Ohio State defense against Wisconsin. You know, Jerry, a week ago we saw, I called it the kryptonite <laughs> against the Wisconsin defense, and historically Wisconsin recruits a big monster, 340-pound offense lineman, but also the weakness is when you move, you know, if you get in a fight with a bear, you got to stand and move, and that's what we would say. And, man, Ohio State did a great job, but it was exposed against Illinois. Illinois did a fabulous job. They don't, even have, the per they don't have near the personnel Ohio State has, but Ohio State learned from them, and you can see, so the one thing about this is really a spread set, but it's all about the run for Wisconsin, and you can see it's six for six right now right. in the box. We all say equate numbers. This is Sean Wade out over the top of receiver number two, and you can see that they're doing a great job. And when I say great job, they're holding their water, we would say. Don't show them it's coming. And then you can trigger and go. So Sean Wade holds it until the tight end set. Right. Now it's seven on six. Numbers advantage for Ohio State. Let's watch the end zone here. And this is where you're going to see the kryptonite that we talked about. Jay Sean Cornell is the three technique to our left. And this is Devon Hamilton. Right. Remember against Illinois, Illinois' linebackers are unblocked a lot. Right. And how do you do that? You out-personnel them or you move them. Right. Ohio State does both here. They out-personnel them with a very talented defensive front. But get your focus on Jay Sean Cornell. So the blocking scheme that Wisconsin's used, it's zone. When you say zone, these five are going to block these five. Right. And when you start at the center, the center is going to have 32. The guard is going to block him. He's going to block him. So these three have these three. So how do you disrupt it? One of the ways that we saw Illinois do it is move him, right. pick the center, and watch the linebacker come free. I'm going to actually let it go slow so the viewer can see. So the center is going to move to his right. right. He gets picked by Jay Sean. Right. Tough Borland's free in a hole, and they hit it for no gain. Right. This is not rocket science, but Wisconsin, I don't know if you'll see a defense lineman stand still now. When Wisconsin's offense linemen, they have a great offense line, they're much better in movement. This offense line for Wisconsin's been exposed now two weeks in a row. Why do you think, this is the first play of the game, why do you think Wisconsin lined up in the spread on the first play? They just, they're trying to equate numbers. I right. think they, you know, if I'm Paul Chris and I look at, you're not gonna just block those people. You know, those, that's too good. Every one of those, look at the six players right there. Every one of them NFL players. Right. So you're not going to one-on-one -on -one base block them. Coach, third and eight, and Chase Young is standing up like a linebacker. Okay, the primary objective of a coaching staff, I've heard you say it, I've said it along, is utilize your personnel. When I hear a media person or a coach, and the coach would never say this in my staff, is that <laughs> he doesn't fit the system. My comment, and I'm sure Bill McCartney or Jerry Donato would say the same thing, change the system. Do what your players do well. Here is the most dominant player in college football, Chase Young. Against this is a third down and eight. You have the sub back in for Taylor Groshek is his name. And the offense linemen are taught in past situations, big on big. Right. That means I'm gonna block a lineman on a lineman. And then the defensive staff, Ohio State, put Chase Young in a linebacker position. Why? Who's responsible for linebackers? The tailback. Groshek's not, he can't handle that one now. Not many people in America can handle that one. So they wanted this kind of matchup. That's why they utilize, once again, well coached, utilize the skill set of the uh, players you have. This is third down and eight. Wisconsin probably does a smart thing. They're not going to try to block this guy. They run a quick screen pass. But this is also what makes Chase Young the most dominant player in college football. Watch him retrace. We call this retrace. It's a screen. The one thing defense are really tight, if they're letting you go, there's a reason. Right. The, the smell of rat. That right. means that it's a screen. You plant your inside foot and you turn and find the ball. And then he <laughs> only finds it. He wipes him out. Baron Browning does a nice job forcing it back. And this is excellent defense. Yeah. Forces it back to the pursuit. Defense alignment is all running to the ball. No gain, fourth down. Coach, explain to us why the corner and the safety are lined up in an unusual position. Yeah, so you see Jeff Okuda down here at the bottom. And you see the safety, Jordan Fuller town. We call that a zero alignment. That means he's not covering anyone. He's going to mirror the quarterback. The corner, this is called a hood ornament. That means he can be a cone out there. It actually is a cone. That's the quarterback. <laughs> that's, that's the quarterback. quarterback. Yeah, that's the right. quarterback. This is the wildcat quarterback of Wisconsin. He's not going to cover him. Why would he ever cover him? This is, once again, very good coaching. He's going to get involved and run support. You're going to see he makes a tackle here. 
So could you say this is an audible defense? When we talk Absolutely. audibles, most people think about the quarterback making an audible. Absolutely. The middle linebacker is going to, as soon as he sees a Wildcat quarterback, as soon as he sees Jack calling the quarterback out here, there's a blanket call. You know what? I don't want to give you the call. Right. Right. But there's a call, disregard him. Right. Let's get all hats in here because this is 100% run, and let's make sure we have enough hats for the run.